Am I the a-hole for refusing to let my son and his pregnant girlfriend move back in with me? My son will call him Jake, 23 years old, has always been an independent and hardworking guy. After graduating college, he moved out, got a decent job, and seemed to be doing well for himself. A few months ago, he introduced me to his new girlfriend. We'll call her Emily. She seemed nice enough at first, but over time, I started noticing some red flags. She quit her job shortly after they started dating, claiming she wanted to find something better, but hasn't made much of an effort to look. She also has a bit of a spending problem, always wanting to go to expensive restaurants and buy new clothes, despite not having a steady income. Recently, Jake came to me with some news. Emily is pregnant and they want to move back in with me to save money. They plan to get married and raise the baby together. I was taken aback while I love my son and want to support him. I don't think moving in with me is the right solution. I worked hard to provide a stable home for Jake when he was growing up. And now that he is an adult, I believe he needs to learn how to handle his own responsibilities. I told Jake that while I'm excited to be a grandparent and help out in other ways, they can't move in with me. I offered to help them find a more affordable place to live and promised to assist with some baby expenses, but I can't have them living under my roof. Emily was furious and accused me of not caring about their future. Jake seemed disappointed, but understood my reasoning. Now, Emily has been posting on Facebook about how I'm abandoning them in their time of need. And some of our family members have reached out saying I should let them move in temporarily. I feel bad, but I also believe that enabling them won't teach them the independency they need. So am I the a-hole for refusing to let my son and his pregnant girlfriend move back in with me?